welcome to Panthaki Learn. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Now we are going to see completely regarding towards feature extraction. So in this uh, session, we will be seeing what is feature extraction and what are the particular features, how to extract the particular features from an image using the image processing technique inside the MATLAB. So once when we get regarding that what does feature extraction, many of them will be thinking like how that particular images will be working over here. So that work of the image is to just take and keep in memory. That is a normal kind of thinking for everyone. Now, as per day by day, there are many technologies it is getting improvised for multiple functions. So on that particular technologies, image processing is one of them, which is integrated to the artificial intelligence as a gateway. So through that gateway, what and all the process should be there. A system cannot read an image as it is because image can be confirmed into two different types uh, as we have gone under the initial basics, which is commonly said as analog and digital now uh, the same thing if you are just uh, going for the devices like uh, digital cameras inside that particular camera we are having the processor which is connected to the lens if you press on the button it snaps the photo and that photo will be stored into the memory card the same thing if you go for the analog we will just take the photo in the film we will just dip it in the silver solution at the dark room and from that we will be able to get a photo at whatever the orientation we are expecting for. So onto that uh, two different parts, you will be having a two different colors. Okay, Even though the color photo is almost same. If you take the printout of the digital and if you take uh, that analog photo, for both there will be some clarity difference. From that clarity difference only, we will be able to uh, just see that uh, bright under color or dark under color or whitey surface like that and all. Now the same thing if you are just going for a machine learning or deep learning means these kind of images uh, we won't be able to make it for training or for recognition purpose like that and all it is not possible. But what to do? Our camera has a capability of taking that particular kind of functions okay like a motion and at the same time the color the movement everything. Even during night time, we are having the night vision cameras or depth cameras, IR cameras like that. So for that particular things, we have to apply this feature extraction so that the process will move on to the next level. Now from that next level process only here we will be able to get it. So like what is that features over here? If we just provide an image, each and every image has its own features. So like here you guys can see. Based on that particular numbers changing, there are three different indications over here like blue, red and green. So wherever the green has been marked, that is the accurate position of each and every image. Because for each and every number, it has different different features over here. So that green mark can be tracked over there. The red mark can be tracked as a non-covered area. So that area won't be covered at all. For example, hereby I am taking that particular part. So consider this as an image. Now onto this here, I can write one in different ways. So the number one in different ways. So I am filling the colors and here the black background are like uh, it is detected as zero and the white turned as one. So this can be termed as one. This can be termed as another one and this can be termed as another one over here so like this kind of one i or we can say if it has uh, roman numerals means now for roman numerals let's start with one so each and every boxes we can consider it as pixel okay and uh, to make it as good looking we can make it as simple or this will be termed as one then from this if i want to uh, take the character as i that also can be done easily so it terms as i over here now the thing i can make it as o or zero so this is another part so each and every parts whenever it is getting featured the shape can be easily extracted over there 
and that particular part only here we can make it with the help of feature extraction and that mandatory thing only it comes under the process of deep learning and machine learning with the help of the image process so through that once whenever we are integrating these parts therefore it will be just moving on uh, towards the entire platform and from that platform only it gets compressed analysis and all that particular values it will be obtained over here so those values only therefore we will be able to train towards the the next level of image processing so in this session we can come to know how that particular features for each and every images by using what types of functions we will be analyzing it so this particular uh, portion it is only for that 3d oriented images or 3d position application so like uh, the motion features and at the same time each and every part uh, with the help of the cubic box we can just see so on to the left we can see that some green backside as dark purple then pink and uh, light green so like the kind of different different colors are there so each and every part indicates each and every different colors means so that particular features has been obtained over there now from this particular features or what will be the exact thing we will be able to obtain like the shapes can be easily detected so through that shapes from the next thing we can go for that uh, object level okay and the shapes also will play a major role like if anything has been detected with the help of a neural network then you can apply the shape according to the size of the object so that shape will be applied either the circle or the rectangle anything then if you want to just uh, replace or make any uh, caricature over there so those kind of applications can be done upon to this shape now many of them will be thinking there is any uh, relation between this feature extraction as well as the animation making yes so animation making it is a self creativity with the help of a drawing software with the help of number of frames in the form of a video so each and every frame we are deciding that this particular character so that character must be uh, continuously walking on so what the walking is required over here so therefore the movement of legs so for that particular movement of legs whenever that particular frames are getting moved on so continuously it will be applied for some seconds so seconds seconds or minutes two minutes two minutes of walking means he will be keeping on walking and therefore the back end what will be there means the frame moving will be there so each and every moving that particular leg moving only we can see and at background some panels also gets moved so this and all comes under some parts of processing inside the images then inside the ad whatever we are seeing like uh, taking a particular person and he is walking in some virtual parts so virtual means what are the animated parts wherever it is being applied so through that he will be working and he can interact with some that uh, cartoon characters or that particular objects like that and all so those uh, things comes under with the help of the basic applications on feature extraction like the original person's a photo or video processing will be taken with the help of a camera then with the help of that processing softwares we will be able to extract that particular person's output or that particular outline so through that outline they will be just uh, posing all his particular functionalities with the help of the same processing software into the animated part so this kind of applications only we will be using over this feature extraction now let us go for some practical parts so first uh, we can just check how to detect the brisk feature so brisk feature it is used to collect some of the important brisk points from an image so we have some images over here so onto that particular brisk feature very simple points only first as usual we have to read an image so i am opening a new script over here and i am providing a variable amre sorry our image name is 0.jpg now onto that we have to mention some variable to read the points and for this detect brisk features this will be that uh, function name detect brisk detect will be in small brisk will be in caps features f will be caps f alone now we have to call the required image so now we have to display both the part 
So first, uh, let us go for AM show. Now onto this image only, we are just going to plot the strongest points. So where and all the brisk uh, locations are there. Like where it is getting more complicated to extract the features. That particular portion only, here it will be located. So go for the plot. So from where means from detect brisk, we have to select the strongest one. Okay, now it is ready. Now let us run and see the output. For that we have to save. Okay, so here we have to convert into day scale. So for the picture for red fort, it is able to show that features over there. So here we can just select the points. And the same thing if I am making test 10, the points will be reduced. So the respective points and its uh, pixel calculation can be done over here. So this is what comes under the risk features. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.